Hey guys, it's Harry from Inside Boxing Brain and yes, you guessed right, we are back for another video. Today's video is all about discipline and what discipline means to me and what discipline means to the world of boxing. Now, I'm doing this video because I'm sat here working away on so many different projects and I've got so many important and exciting things lined up for the new year. And in my head, I'm ticking over thinking about Inside Boxing Brain. And I wanted to jump online because as I'm sat here doing my work and I'm tired and I'm exhausted and looking rough from a hard week, I thought, Discipline is more than just the act of doing something over and over again. Discipline is a mindset. It's a frame of mind. It's a state in which you keep yourself when you've got a goal and an ambition. And those goals and ambitions drive you every single day. They get you out of bed and they keep you up at night. And having those goals and ambitions and that drive... It, to me, is the fundamental basis of being disciplined. Now, what I found is that if you've got no reason to be disciplined, then you won't be. Many years ago, I was a student. And when I was a student, I didn't have any real motivation to be a disciplined person. I didn't enjoy my degree. I didn't enjoy what I was doing. I wasn't passionate about it. And for that reason, it didn't get me out of bed on a morning and it didn't keep me up at night so whenever you look at your life and you want to be disciplined and you want to try and implement changes or strategies to become more disciplined look at your environment don't look within yourself because you will always deliver if your heart is in it that's how we're wired that's how people are if you are involved with something you will deliver because you're emotionally invested and the heart gets what the mind wants so if you look at your situation and you're unhappy and you think, how can I be more disciplined and what things can I do? A great thing to look at is, number one, thinking about your mental health and addressing it. And a great way to do that is to implement an activity like a sport, whether it's boxing or whether it's football because the World Cup is on or whatever sport it is that you're into, or whatever hobby or activity that you're into, as long as it is a healthy activity, do more of that. Doing more of the things that you love will help you understand how to work hard and how to implement this disciplined mindset to achieve what you want to achieve. A great way to look at this is if you plant a seed and then a flower doesn't grow. Are you going to blame the seed for not flowering? Or are you going to look at its environment and think that this environment is not akin to help this seed grow and bloom into a flower? We're all flowers out here and we're all being planted into the ground and we all have an opportunity to grow. But what we need to do is face the sun. We need to have a goal. We need to have an ambitious mindset set ourselves goals that we want to work towards and what you will find is that if you have these goals that slowly but surely you will start implementing disciplined strategies into your life whether that means just thinking about it constantly the more you think about something the more likely you are to act upon it and implement something take action and i think this is where a lot of the young generation now are really maybe losing touch and falling out of that go get a hustler man mindset boxers implement a disciplined strategy because they step into the boxing gym from day one and they want to be what world champions that's why they do it and i know a lot of people say oh well it's the sport that breeds the discipline you go in the gym and you train repetitively and that gives you discipline no, that makes you a master of your craft, you know. The more you do something, the more repetition you do, you'll go from being a novice all the way up to being a master. It doesn't mean you're disciplined. Discipline is a mindset. 
It's not the act of doing something over and over again. That's repetition. And that's why the boxing breeds the mindset. You step in the gym and you want to be a champion. So you go in with that mindset of I'm going to work hard day in, day out, no matter what I need to do to get to that next step. And you overcome hurdles and challenges along the way. We've all got personal battles. Everybody is going through something individual to them, whether it's health related, whether it's relationship related, whether it's financially related or whether it's work related. Everybody has got something going on personally in their own lives, which is so unique to them that they cannot see past that. But we are the main character in our own stories. So having a goal, having a vision, having ambitions, this will give you the drive to keep going. Even in the darkest of times when you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, having a vision and having a, a goal or a dream will push you through those hard times to get there. And I think we're living in a society now where People don't have dreams and goals and ambitions anymore. We're happy to watch other people live theirs through social media rather than chase it ourselves. So to be disciplined, change your mindset. Give yourself a goal, a short-term, a mid-term and a long-term goal. And whether the short-term goal is every single day I'm going to go for a walk or every single day I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to hit the bag for, you know three three minute rounds and I'm going to skip for a bit and then once I've done some skipping I'm just going to shadow box and after I've done some shadow boxing I'm going to go and I'm going to eat something healthy discipline mindset that's how you achieve your goals a wise story or a wise saying that stuck with me for a long long time is that successful people are not people that don't fail Successful people are those who have passed failure on the route to success. Because anybody who hasn't failed hasn't tried. And if you haven't tried, you're guaranteed to lose. So I just wanted to leave that thought with you. It's not really a boxing video today, is it? But it's been a long week and we're coming to the end of the year and I've been working on so many different projects outside of this boxing YouTube channel, I've got a lot of other stuff going on work-wise um, and this channel for me, I created it as a bit of a strategy to step away from that, to give myself a way to communicate and share my thoughts and my feelings, you know, I'm a diehard boxing fan, I love the sport, so I thought, you know, maybe talking about boxing will be a great way for me to vent and for me to share my knowledge and ideas and feelings and emotions around what's going on in the boxing world. But what you, you realise is that boxing and life are the same. Life is a fight and every single day you're fighting, whether it's a health related issue, whether it's a family related issue, a financial issue, or whether it's just the bills going up, 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 the war in Ukraine, you know, political instability, COVID, everything, right? It makes it really hard for people. So, you know, life's a boxing match. And um, whatever round you're in, just remember, even if you've been knocked down, just get back up and set yourself a goal, which is I'm going to stick my jab in my opponent's face over and over and over again until my opponent realises that I'm not going to quit and then you hit them with a knockout blow. And the knockout blow is coming. Guys, stay motivated. Stay happy. Christmas is around the corner. It's Harry from Inside Boxing Brain. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video. And drop me a comment in the comment section below. I'm interested to know what you feel discipline is for you. Peace.